Hello everyone, let me introduce myself as Sam, a multi-platform cloud architect and trainer and I'm so glad and I'm equally excited to talk and walk you through this session about what AWS is and talk to you about some services and offerings and about how companies get benefited by migrating their applications and infra into AWS. So what's AWS? Let's talk about that. Now, before that, let's talk about how life was without any cloud provider. And in this case, how life was without AWS. So let's walk back and picture how things were back in 2000, which is not so long ago, but a lot of changes, a lot of changes for better had happened since that time. Now, back in 2000, a request for a new server is not an happy thing at all because a lot of uh, money, a lot of uh, validations, a lot of uh, planning are involved in getting a server online or up and running. And even after we finally got the server, it's not all said and done. There are a lot of optimization that needs to be done on that server to make it worth it and get a good return on investment from that server. And uh, even after we have optimized for a good return on investment, the work is still not done. There will often be a frequent increase increase and decrease in the capacity and uh, you know even news about our website getting popular and getting more hits it's still an uh, bittersweet experience because now I need to add more servers to the environment which means that it's going to cost me even more but thanks to the present day cloud technology if the same situation were to happen today my new server it's almost ready and it's ready instantaneously. And with the swift tools and technologies that Amazon is providing uh, in provisioning my server instantaneously and adding any type of workload on top of it and making my storage and server secure, you know, creating a durable storage where data that I store in the cloud never gets lost. With all that features, Amazon has got our back. So let's talk about what is AWS. There are a lot of definitions for it, but uh, I'm going to put together a simple and a precise definition as much as possible. Now, let me iron that out. Cloud still runs on an hardware, all right? And uh, there are certain features in that infrastructure in that cloud infrastructure that makes cloud cloud or that makes AWS a cloud provider. Now we get all the services, all the technologies, all the features and all the benefits that we get in our local data center like you know security and compute capacity and uh, databases and in fact you know we get even more cool features like uh, content caching in various global lo locations around the planet but again out of all the features the best part is that I get or we get everything on a pay as we go model the less I use the less I pay and the more I use the less I pay per unit. Very attractive, isn't it? Right? And that's not all. The applications that we provision in AWS are very reliable because they run on a reliable infrastructure and it's very scalable because it runs on an on-demand infrastructure and it's very flexible because of the designs and because of the design options available for me in the cloud. Let's talk about how all this happened. AWS was launched in uh, 2002 after the Amazon, we know as the online retail store, wanted to sell their remaining or unused infrastructure as a service or as an offering for customers to buy and use it from them, you know, sell infrastructure as a service. The idea sort of clicked and uh, AWS launched their first product, first product in 2006, that's like four years after the idea launch and in 2012 they held a big sized customer event to gather inputs and concerns from customers and they were very dedicated in making those requests happen and that habit is still being followed it's still being followed as a reinvent by AWS and at 2015 Amazon announced its revenue to be 4.6 billion and in 2015 through 2016 AWS launched products and services that help migrate customer services into AWS well there were products even before but this is when a lot of focus was given on developing migrating services and in the same year that's in 2016 Amazon's revenue was 10 billion and not but not the least as we speak Amazon has more than 100 products and services available for customers and get benefited from 
All right, let's talk about the uh, services that are available in uh, Amazon. Let's start with this product called S3. Now, S3 is a great tool for internet backup, and it's, it's the cheapest storage option in the object storage category. And not only that, the data that we put in S3 is retrievable from the internet. S3 is really cool. And we have other products like a migration and data collection and data transfer products. And here we can not only collect data seamlessly, but also in a real time way, monitor the data or analyze the data that's being received that there are cool products like uh, aws data transfers available that helps achieve that and then we have products like uh, ec2 elastic compute cloud that's an resizable computer where we can anytime anytime after the size of the computer based on the need or based on the forecast then we have simple notification services systems and tools available in amazon to update us with notifications through email or through sms now anything anything can be sent through email or through sms if we use that service it could be alarms or uh, it could be service notifications if you want stuff like that and then we have some security tools like kms key management system which uses aes2 56 bit encryption to encrypt our data at rest then we have lambda a service for which we pay only for the time in seconds seconds it takes to execute our code and uh, we're not paying for the infrastructure here it's just the seconds the program is going to take to execute the code if it's a short program we'll be paying in milliseconds if it's a, a bit bigger program we'll be probably paying in uh, 60 seconds or 120 seconds but that's a lot cheap, a lot simple, and lots cost effective as against paying for service on an hourly basis, which a lot of other services are. Well, that's cheap, but using Lambda is a lot cheaper than that. And then we have services like uh, Route 53, a DNS service in the cloud. And now I do not have to maintain a DNS account somewhere else and my cloud environment with AWS. I can get both in the same place. All right, let me talk to you about um, of how AWS makes life easier or how companies got benefited by using AWS as their IT provider for their applications or for the infrastructure. Now, Unilever is a company and um, they had a problem, right? And they had a problem and they picked AWS as a solution to their problem, right? Now, this company was sort of spread across 190 countries and they were relying on a lot of digital marketing for promoting their products and their existing environment, their legacy local environment, proved not to support their changing IT demands and uh, they could not standardize their old environment. Now, they chose to move part of their applications to AWS because they were not getting what they wanted in their local environment. And since then, you know, rollouts were easy, provisioning new applications became easy, and even provisioning infrastructure became easy, and they were able to do all that in push-button scaling. And uh, needless to talk about uh, backups that are safe and backups that can be securely accessed from the cloud as needed. Now, that company is growing along with AWS because of their swift speed in rolling out deployments and uh, being able to access secure backups from various places and generate reports and in fact useful reports out of it that helps their business. Now on the same lines let me also talk to you about uh, Kellogg's and how they got benefited by using Amazon. Now Kellogg's had a different problem. It's one of its kind. Now their business model was very dependent on uh, an infra that will help to analyze data really fast, right? Because they were running promotions based on the analyzed data that they get. So they being able to respond to the analyzed data as soon as possible was critical or vital in their environment. And luckily SAP running on HANA environment is what they needed. And uh, you know, they picked that service in the cloud and that sort of solved the problem. Now, the company does not uh, have to deal with uh, maintaining their legacy infra and maintaining their heavy compute capacity and maintaining their uh, database locally. All that is now moved to the cloud or they are using cloud as their IT service provider. And, and now they have a greater and powerful IT environment that very much complements their business. I believe you enjoyed watching this video. Stay tuned. I'll meet you in another video. Thank you. Hi there, if you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.